Unfortunately, James White is hurt. So joining us on the Harbor One hotline is Patriots linebacker Dante Hightower, who's brought to us by Zooty. Build any app your company needs in a week. Visit Zooty.com for details and by Boston Beer, Truly Hard Seltzer. Dante Hightower, it's Patriots Monday. Welcome to Gresham Keith. How are you this morning? Uh, bless guys. Thanks for having me. How you guys doing? Uh, we're All okay. Right. We're just trying to peel apart what went down yesterday. And Dante, you've played a lot of football here. You have seen a lot of football here. How do you kind of sum up what went down yesterday against the Saints at Gillette Stadium? Um, I haven't, I haven't uh, watched, you know, got to watch film yet. But um, you know, it was a a, a tough loss. But um, you know, just just got to get in and um, you know, get feedback on coach, and obviously, just all around, just got to play better. How frustrating, Dante, was it that really for the second time this season, the defense has had a chance to come up with one stop late in the fourth quarter to try to give the offense the ball back, just down one possession, but unfortunately, not able to get it done. Uh, it's obviously something that you don't want to be uh, on the side of, uh, you know. Obviously, with the with the defense that we've uh, had here in past years, you know that's that's just something that you know we obviously would pride ourselves on, and it's just something that we we just got to do a, a hell of a lot better job of. Dante Hightower is with us on the Harbor One Hotline on Patriots Monday. Our interview with Dante Hightower is brought to you by Verizon. I know on offense, Dante, there's always a lot of talk from us rubes in the media and elsewhere about continuity and coming together. Is it the same on defense as well that there is a gelling and that there is time to need to be able to come together, or because defense is so reactionary, is that maybe overstated a little bit? Um, I think it's more of uh, you know guys kind of you know building chemistry and kind of getting to know each other. So I guess you can kind of say um, that that gel you know is there, but you know. You know, sometimes, you know, it's just guys, we, we just got to play, you know, play better, uh, you know, put put ourselves in, you know, better situations to make plays. What is, When Taysom Hill goes into the game, is it one of those things where you have to, you have to be prepared for the pass, but you kind of have a pretty good idea he's going to run? Because it seems like that's what he does way more often than not. Could, could you repeat that again? With Taysom Hill, when he comes into the game, are you guys – gearing up to stop the run or do you have to sort of be prepared for the pass even though he really doesn't do that much um i think with Taysom, you just i mean i obviously he, he's, he does both i mean you got to be uh you kind of got to be prepared for it and you know that's obviously the reasons why you know sean payton uses utilizes him the way that he does is um you know because he makes you kind of prepare for everything dante hightower with gresham keith on patriots monday Dante, do you feel like uh, because you're a link to the past, right, and and the whole Brady era, but more importantly, winning in big spots, in big situations, is that is that feeling fleeting? Meaning, do you have to almost recreate that every year because you have new players coming into the organization? Like, what is it for a veteran like you to sort of continue to hand down the standard of the way things are done here? And is that something that you as a veteran have to be aware of in imparting that kind of knowledge or quote unquote, the Patriot way of doing things? Man, in a, in a nutshell, man, it, it's all about winning. It, it you know, all, all the culture and all the, the past stuff, you know, we we just gotta, you know, come together as a team and just just play better and win. Um, you know, that that's ultimately that's what it comes down to. Well, you got Tampa Bay coming to town on Sunday night. How badly do you want to hit Tom Brady? <laughs> I would much rather have a win than uh than than <laughs> than to worry anything about trying to hit uh, getting a sack or whatever on, on twelve. So the, the dub is definitely. Um, but you know what we're concerned with, we, we just want to play better. Well, speaking of Tom, I'm curious because you were a teammate of his for such a long time. How did you find out that he was leaving the Patriots and signing with Tampa Bay? Uh, much, much like everybody else, I guess, kind of uh, was radio or tickers or all kind of notifications. 
What will it be like for you to go up against Tom Brady in a non-practice situation? You saw him for your whole career here pretty much, and I'm sure you've dealt with him in scrimmages and things like that, but now it's for real. Can you kind of explain what it is going to be like to match up against a guy who has even admitted, hey, there is enough that I haven't seen in this league? Man, again, guys, I'm I'm literally just focused on you know us just trying to play better, and I wish I could you know jump into to you know all all the other stuff, but you know right now I'm focused on is just just getting better, you know, this week of practice and and to go out and and to play a, a better game. All right, so Dante, that said, what is it that Tom Brady is going to present to you? that you're going to have to get ready for that is maybe different than other guys you are have gone against in the past, considering this dude is who he is. Like, what are those things that you, as a guy who is a leader of this defense, have to be on alert for or disseminate information to the others about, hey, man, I've seen it all with this cat. Look out for this kind of stuff. Um, Just, just overall, man, the dude is... Obviously, the goat is he's the, the greatest of all time. Um, you know, there's not much that he hasn't seen. Um, it's just it's just going to take you know everything in the tank and some uh, to get it done. Um, you know, you you've seen him in from his highs and lows and everything else, so you know what kind of competitor he is. And um, you know, he, you know those guys are coming uh, coming up and they're going to be ready to play. So we, we're going to you know do everything we can this week. Now, I think all the attention's on Tom Brady, but also Rob Gronkowski. And I know he got hurt in the game uh, yesterday, but you guys have probably faced off against each other a lot in practice. Uh, you looking forward to facing Gronk as well? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, Gronk, Gronk's a great, uh, a great, he was a great teammate, a uh, great, great friend. Uh, obviously still, you know, I was I'll go at, at the tight end position. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Dante, you opted out last year. You picked it up playing again this year. What was it like for you to have a full year away from football? Um, to just, just enjoy the, enjoy the time with my family and, and raising my son. Did it, did it help you physically? Like, have you noticed either spring in your step was it easy to get back in? I don't know. After week two, did you look at your family and go, "Oh my God, it was so much more fun last year, just kind of hanging out." You know, I'm I'm curious if you had like one of those epiphany moments that you realized either you desperately missed it, or man, your body hurts, and how much longer am I going to be able to do this kind of racket? Um, I think all that stuff kind of went out the window uh, once training camp kind of hit. So. Um, I'm just glad to be glad to be back, glad to be out there with my teammates and um looking forward to getting back to practice this week and, and turning this thing around. All right, Dante, thanks for pinch hitting for James White. We wish the best for uh, him and you as well. Uh thanks for the time today here on Patriots Monday. There you go. There thanks, goes Dante. Uh, there goes Dante Hightower and